All right, so next we're going to look at the idea of traversability on a network. So if we've got some nodes set up with some edges in between, we want to know whether it's traversable or not. Now what this means is whether you can draw this without lifting your pencil off the paper and not going over any line more than once. Um, now the guy that came up with the theory around this was... Um, the person I mentioned in the previous video, his name's Leonard Euler, and he started looking into this when he was sent the problem about the bridges of Königsberg that we've discussed before. So if you take a little look at this network that I've got drawn for you on the screen, you can quite easily see that you can um, create a path on this network where you can draw this without lifting your pencil off the paper and without going over the same line twice. You can do this and that means that you create what's called an Euler path. That means that you can trace over each ed edge exactly once. With this one you start at this node and you can finish at this node or you might even possibly find a different um, way route through. Okay so with that we've started and finished at a um, different node, that means it's an Euler path. Now if we had just one more edge, say something like this, it means we could get back to the start point. Now if we close that path off and finish where we started, that's called an Euler circuit. So that means that it's an Euler path that finishes back at the same node that you started from. That means that it's traversable. If you can draw it without lifting your pencil off the paper, so either you can create an Euler path or an Euler circuit, then that network is known as traversable. So looking at this one, really simple to begin with. Is this one traversable? Quite clearly not. You couldn't draw that without lifting your pencil off the paper. There's only the two edges there, um, so you couldn't do that one. Okay, what about if we add in a few more edges? Is this one traversable? So have a little look and think, could you draw all of that without lifting your pencil off the paper? And these red lines show you that yes, you could. You could follow that route there. This one started at a node that was diff different to where it finished at. That means that we've created an Euler path. Now take a little minute to have a look at this one. Is this one traversable? Let's just give it a go. So if we have a go with this one, I started with that one that just has the one path on it because it seemed like a good place to start but wasn't able to get through. There's still that one yellow edge that we haven't been able to trace over yet without repeating ourselves anywhere else. Okay so let's try again. Let's get rid of that. Start again. Here's our network. Uh, maybe let's try starting somewhere else and see what happens. Now we still get stuck with an edge that we can't draw. So this one is not traversable. But how can we say that it's not traversable unless we try every single path? This is where Euler comes in. He came up with a solution to this. So he thought about this logically and he said if you start somewhere and you go to another node, when you go to that node you need to have a route out of it. So every time you go into a node, you need to have somewhere to go to. So on that node, you need to have at least two paths, one going in and one coming out. And the same as you carry on, each of the nodes you go to has to have an exit point ready for you. So if you continue that through, then you can see each of the places we've got to so far had an exit point. Now we've got to a place where we don't have an exit point and we've got an edge that we haven't covered yet. So how can we decide if there's going to be enough exit points when we go into the nodes? That means that on each of the nodes we, we need to have pairs of edges going in. So each node needs to be of an even degree, except for the one you start with and finish on. So if we check the degrees of these, we've got um, a degree of one there, degree of three, we've got two edges on that one, five on that one, and three on this one. Now we can easily see this is not going to work because we've got too many nodes that are odd degree, which means we're not going to have enough routes going in and out of them. We can only have an odd at the beginning and the end of our path. So if we were going to create an Euler path, we'd need to have exactly two odd nodes and everything else would need to be even. If it was going to be an Euler circuit, we'd have to have no odd nodes. There'd need to be a way 
in and out of every node that we've got on our network diagram. So let's take a look at a couple more examples. We've got this network here. So you can work out whether this is traversable by not or not by looking at the degree of each node. So we've got a 1, a 2, 5, 4, 2 and a 2. So I'm just counting the edges that are going in and out. So we can see now we've just got these two nodes that are odd, which means we will be able to create an Euler path. This means it's traversable. There's two odd nodes means there is an Euler path. It will need to start and finish at those two odd nodes, so something like this. All right, next example. Here's our network. Let's start labeling up the degrees of each of the nodes. And you can see that all of them are an even degree node. That means that this will be traversable because there are no odd nodes and that means we'll be able to create an Euler circuit. Now with an Euler circuit it shouldn't matter where you start, you can create your circuit through the whole of the network diagram. So I've just started there and you can see it tracing through now a possible circuit. You can go in um, a different order but it will still be able to be drawn. So with this one we had here our node there was the start and the finish that makes it an Euler circuit. So the key thing to look for is labeling your nodes with their degree. If there are exactly two odd degree nodes you'll be able to create a Euler path through your network and be able to make it traversable. If there are no odd degrees then you will be able to create a circuit and it will be traversable. If there, there's any other situation where there's too many odd nodes or just one odd node, it won't be traversable.